The fort today marked the first day that downtown city and county buildings were open to the public after being closed because of the pandemic. As Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Corinne Rose explains, if you need to enter the Rousseau Center or Citizen Square, it won't be business as usual. At the Rousseau Center, the former city county building, people practiced social distancing as they waited their turn to speak with someone at the police desk. Employees at the information desk are some of the first to interact with the public when they walk in, and they say they appreciate the steps taken to help protect everybody. Now that we come back and the building is open and we have the glass around, it really makes you feel really comfortable. You really can actually help people. You feel that they're being safe, you're being safe, and it's just been a big thing that really made us feel real well. Signs are prominently displayed and hand sanitizer stations dot the lobbies of the Rousseau Center and Citizen Square. While the Citizen Square information desk doesn't have glass panels around it, it does have safeguards in place to keep people at a safe distance. Only two people at a time are allowed to be in elevators at both buildings. Shields have been installed in some offices to help keep distance between visitors and employees. And some offices are closed for a time during the day for extra sanitation and cleaning. Masks are not required, but you know, individuals, if that is their choice from the county standpoint, they are more than welcome to do that. County Commissioner Therese Brown says extensive weekly meetings have been held since March to determine how best to stagger government employees return to work and keep everything as wiped down as possible. We've seen a, a huge uptick uh, in individuals using our websites, whatever those functions may be, and being more proactive with emails and phone calls than to be coming downtown. One issue still to be fully resolved is how to conduct public hearings in front of various boards. To still be transparent, still allow for as, as we should and, and are required to and, and just in the best sense for public input, public hearings. It's been very difficult to, to do those things when you can't be in the same room at the same time. One exception is City Utilities, which is still closed to walk-in service, so people are encouraged to use the outdoors kiosk accessible from the parking lot. Corinne Rose, Fort Wayne's NBC.